Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here. And today is. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. It's Things We're Making Thursday. And before we get started on Things We're Making Thursday, I would like to invite you to hook the subscribe button like the video leave some yarn in the comments i love it when you comment i love it when we can have a little conversation going on so um conversational pieces are awesome let me know what you're up to are you participating in things things we're making thirsty and if so what kind of bag are you making because it's march baby bag time um can you believe it's march i'm like whoa Whoa, we're already a week into March. Where has the time flown? I'm excited for March to just kind of slow down, relax, give me some time to do all my projects. Been rearranging my room. Could definitely use March to go a little slower to let me do that. So let's slow it down. Meanwhile, let's talk about this. So this is not a bag. <laughs> These are some affirmation cards. And as you can see, this just kind of, it's just a tunnel, slows, you know. And these are my daughters. And she's like, my biggest frustration is that this does not stay closed. And I was like, hey, this was hap this is a conversation before Christmas. I'm like, I'll make you a bag for them. Just leave it with me, I'll make you a bag. A few months later still no bag and they're still wobbly in fact let's draw a card these are just the silliest things silliest cards but they're kind of fun they have some random randomnesses on them so I'll go like this kind of shuffle them a little bit and let's see what the cards have to say today. Um, in case you don't know, they have unicorns and a bunny on them. Let's see what this card has to say. Sanctuary. Hey, that's what I'm kind of trying to make in my room. Sanctuary. Good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. It could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip. Or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath. Oh, that sounds fun. Or a normal sized trip to a tiny bubble bath. Or maybe you tripped and fell in someone's bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick up your favorite san just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if a bath is involved. And it says down here it's a bonus card. I don't know what that means. It's a bonus card, and it's for sanctuary and a bubble bath. Now I want bubble bath. I can take a bath. I just don't have bubbles. Okay. So anyway, um, since it is March and it is bag month, I made a bag. I'm gonna put this in here. My daughter has not actually seen this yet. She does not know I have actually done anything. So, um, I did this very differently. I crocheted a chain around and I made it a circle so that you can see the unicorn in it, okay? Um, so I did some things out and then I did some things out and then I did some things out and then I did a row out and then I got to where it, I got to where it kind of, the row out actually did down here and I was like oh cool so I actually then let me think yeah so this round here goes around and then I did a round that was just from one side to the other side leaving an opening then what I did was a method where you chain up the side a little bit, double crochet across, and hook it in, and then chain up the side and double crochet across 
so that I was just weaving back and forth and then connecting it in and then I just did um, a slip stitch at the bottom that's how I did it then I went around the top doing half double crochet chain one all the way around the top so that I could leave little spaces for the ties and then I did a crab stitch across the top and it does cinch in and now she can have a bag I'm going to let her decide if she wants to like tie this together to make it a bag bag um, if she does that she could decide to pull up the other side and have two so it's a shorter bag or she can have it long so it's a longer bag but yeah that was my first bag for March that's what I did so I'm gonna show that to her today I'm excited about it that's also it's not just like making a bag for things we're making Thursday but it was something I told her I would do back in like October November December probably November actually thinking about some of the things going on and when the, we had the cards out last but yeah so that's done and I'm excited about that which leaves the rest of March because that was very early in March that bag done now what um one of the things that I've wanted to do mostly because the idea of actually sewing has zero appeal to me I have the skills I've had the skills since I was like eight or nine years old uh not long after I learned to crochet I learned to crochet when I was a little bit younger than that but um I, my mom taught me to sew when I was like eight or nine years old I learned to crochet when I was like seven or eight from my grandma and I just I need project bags but I don't want to sew them so my plan is today or tomorrow to kind of think about what yarn I want to use and I'm looking at knitting stitches that don't have a lot of stretch um, the linen stitch and then there's a fortress stitch which as far, far as I can tell the difference between the linen stitch and the fortress stitch is where you put your yarn when you do your slip stitches um, and so I'm thinking of doing that for the bottom of the bag and I'm not sure if I want to do that for the bottom and then do that for like a bit up and kind of make it look oh I don't have one I have a bag that has um, like one texture on the bottom and then it changes to another texture you, you guys probably know what I'm talking about I don't know anyway I'm not sure if I want to do just the linen or fortress on the bottom and then do like um, the herringbone part way up or if I want to do whatever stitch I use on the bottom linen fortress whichever up that side and then switch to something else for the rest of the bag but that's kind of what I'm looking at and then just knitting the rest of the bag I want it to have a little bit sturdy on the bottom but still the flexibility that I would love to see in knitting but I might come up with a pattern or I might switch to crochet and do like the top portion of the bag and crochet um, we'll just see I'm going to play it as we go and making it up I've also been thinking about how can I have it have compartments but more than just compartments like changeable compartments like I have this right here this is um, okay. This is plastic canvas. It's got the holes and stuff. I have a bit of this, and I was thinking, let me put this back, as I could make it so that, like, you slide them in, and maybe they like slide together, and so you can like change how many compartments you have I want to get to a point where I have six compartments where that can hold six balls of yarns that just stay there I think that would be really awesome so I'm thinking about that as I'm going but my main thing is like let's get this thing started so I got to figure out what yarn I'm using and what needles I'm using because I do know I want to knit the bottom but my other thoughts are would I have time to finish the bag in March?
I don't know. I don't actually know. Why? Because I still have um, probably two thirds of the last round for my blanket that was February's Mr. Yarn Challenge slash blanket month for things for Make It Thursday. Um, I'm almost done with that and I'm trying to get that done this week. That is my main focus. Trying to get that done. I have a whole bunch of other projects and a whole bunch of things I want to cast on and and or chain on, however you say it when it's crochet. I got a whole bunch of projects I really want to work on and start and the bag is just one of them. And I have some things that feel a little more urgent to me because like I'm working on a look over there where I've started, I've rearranged to where I'm like, look, it's my current projects bag area. And I'm looking over there and I see my um, St. Patrick's Day shawl. And St. Patrick's Day is in 10 days. Will I have it ready to wear on St. Patrick's Day? I think after I finish my blanket, that is going to be my next main Let's get this thing done project. But also, I got mail today and I have that I will be doing an unboxing right after this that will show on Saturday. And you gotta go see that because that is a mystery yarn challenge. I got my yarn. It's there sitting right there. It says mystery yarn challenge 324 on the box. I love writing them on the box too. I write my, I don't necessarily put the month, but I do put NYC on it so they know that it's Mr. Yarn Challenge. It says happy crocheting on it. Kind of cracks me up because I may crochet it or I may knit it or I may do both. Um, but that's okay. Crocheting is fun and wishing me happy crocheting is always cool. I mean, this was crocheted. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a bit on the overwhelmed side at the moment, guys. Why do I do this to myself? It wouldn't matter if I didn't get involved in the things that actually have kind of deadlines. If it was just like, oh, I'm starting this and I feel like working on it and I was just moving a bunch of things forward. But I keep getting involved in certain kind of collabs and stuff that like you have this month to work on them. And I'm like, well, that's fine and dandy if you're only working on one, maybe two projects. But I work on like 10 at a time. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great day and that you're doing well. If you're participating in things we're making Thursday and you don't have a channel, um, I'm happy to put a slideshow in with my videos to say, hey, this is what someone so is making and I'm happy to do that. Uh, See, so my email is down below. You can do that. I'm putting all the information for the... Um, things we're making Thursday projects. Let's see, this month is bags. So you've got all of March with bags. And then next month is Tunis Tun Tunisian. Ooh, maybe that's what I could do. I've done Tunisian crochet before. I've done it a few times. I even made my daughter a hat with it. That was really cool because you, in Tunisian crochet, usually crochet along and so that you get a whole bunch on your hooks and then you pull it back through but I was doing it in the round and the method that I was using is you would crochet you would go around and then you wouldn't work backwards you would actually bring your other yarn around and you use two different colors and the second color would um, come and pick them up and do the thing it was really fascinating like I'd never done that before, but I, the first time I tried Tunisian crochet, I was still in high school. So, um, I do it once in a while. It's a slower process for my liking, so I don't do it as often. But it does make some really nice fabric, especially for kitchen wear. It really does, so I might do that too. But maybe what I could do is my thing from my bag and get part way or get part way on my bag and then switch to Tunisian and then it will just kind of flow from oh we're making bags in March not done with my bag but hey I'm using Tunisian crochet and I can finish in April maybe that's what I'll do 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. We're just going to play it by ear and see how the month goes. Anyway, remember to let your light shine to your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.